How you doing there, my brother? Doing good, man. Right? Good to be here. Do you mind introducing yourself? I'm Kenny Harrison Jr. Um, from Charlotte, North Carolina, City Director for Pro Skills Basketball. How long have you been associated with youth basketball? With youth basketball? Ooh, I've been associated with youth basketball kind of as a, as a coach and leader for about five, six years now. But I've been playing ball since I was six. So I, I've been around the game for a while. I'm the city director. Uh, so for here at PSB, we just, we have a ton of teams. We got over 25 teams. We separate all through throughout Charlotte. And my role is just to kind of oversee, um, to train our coaches our, and help our coaches kind of train our players. Um, and just provide a, a great experience uh, for youth basketball players. And what did you guys do in here today at the Carolina courts? Uh, we just put on a great event, man, for players to just come in and only focus on uh, getting better and competing, kind of getting lost in the fight, not worried about winning or losing, but just the process. So if there is a young person out there that's looking for a basketball club and looking for somewhere to be a part of something great. What would you say to that young person? I would tell that player to go where they want you and go where they want to develop you, right? Don't go to a program where they're chasing wins and chasing, chasing trophies. They need to be chasing development and developing you. So I would go somewhere where it's all about development and it's about the players. Who was a mentor for you growing up? A mentor for me growing up? Joel Justice. Um, he's currently the interim head coach at Ohio State. Uh, he just left NC State. They had a great run, uh, made it all the way to the national championship. But Joel Justice um, was a huge mentor for me kind of growing up. Can you give me one thing that still stick with you today that he have given you? Next play mentality. Um, that's not only something you can apply on the court, but something you can apply in life. Life is full of mistakes and failures, right? But it's all about how you pick yourself up and move on from that. So that's something that, that he said to me early on, and it stuck with me, um, not only at, on the court, but, but as, a, as a human being and a young man. Why is it important to be a positive influence in the young people's lives? They need guidance, right? I think now we're in a generation where it's heavily um, social media influenced, um, where our kids are looking at a lot of different outlets, um, and they are looking for somebody to guide them. So I think it's our job to guide them on that right path. And it's just a beautiful thing that we can use basketball to kind of do that. When you see a young person or see a young person's family in the stands and they're always arguing with the reps and arguing with the officials, what do you say to that young person? Be in the moment, right? Uh, at, at moments like that, you're making it about you and not about your son, right, or your daughter. Make it all about your child, right? Let your child go through adversity, go through success, right, and just be a parent, right? Your parent, your job as a parent, I don't have kids, but I know for my parents, their job for me was just to support me, right? Allow me to make mistakes and allow me to go through kind of trials and tribulations and, and kind of grow from it. So I would just tell parents to just let your kid get lost in the journey, right? And just be a parent and just support them. Young people don't realize, but how could that impact their basketball journey? It could, it could heavily impact it, right? Because as, as kids, we look up to our parents, right? Our parents are everything. Their word is bond. Um, so if you're constantly pushing negativity and, and, and anger and, and defeat on your kid, you know, whether you're doing it to them or, or doing it to someone else, they're always watching. They're watching every single little thing you're doing. Um, so it's just important that we always instill in positivity and the next play mentality in our kids. So before we go, yeah. um, can you leave young people, any young person out there, just leave them a message, something that you would typically say to young people along your journey or your days? Don't stop no matter what, right? Allow this game of basketball to, to run its course, right? Because this game, like I said earlier, will not only help you as a basketball player, but it will help you in life. Learn how to be a great teammate, how to sacrifice, right? And how to lead, right? Which is huge, right? Our kids, very slim chance of them going to the NBA, right? But being a doctor, a teacher, right? A police officer need to be good people, right? It starts with us, man. So I, I would just say to my young kids, man, just get lost in the fight. Um, and enjoy this journey, man. You are very blessed to be able to play a beautiful game. Um, so I will leave him with that. Thanks a lot, my brother. Thank you, man. That, man. Appreciate it. I needed that.